Hey, I'm Tyler. And I'm Katie. You're listening to Nostalgia. Sure are. The podcast you like to listen to while absolutely beating up your sibling. Just violently. Huh. Kate, and this is a bigger question. Okay, question one. Have you ever played the Nintendo 64 video game WWF No Mercy? No. Can you describe the box? Um, there's some guys with hair and then one guy without hair. You know who's in the middle? Is that The Rock? That's Dwayne The Rock Johnson in his heyday. I knew because of his neck. (laughs) He's very small compared to what he looks like now. He has an iconic neck, He he does. His neck has not changed. And a gold chain. Not that one that everybody Mm -hmm. makes fun of him for, and he's totally embraced when he was younger, but uh, younger than this. Uh, Do you know anyone else on this cover? Um, Hair, bandana (laughs) pants, and hair, no pants. Uh, On the right, I believe, is Triple H, and I'm really showing my absolute lapse of wrestling knowledge. The edge, maybe in the in the what you call bandana pants. I can't tell who's getting obliterated by him. I don't know, but it looks like he's getting his butt gripped up. Yeah. Um, please correct me uh, out there if I'm wrong. If that's not the edge, please write in. Who could it be? Make it a snarky message. It's not Chris Jericho. Anyway, okay, Kate. Uh, have you ever watched a WWF wrestling match? I don't think so. Never in your life. Like maybe by accident. How many wrestlers could you name right now besides these ones? Uh, the Rock. Yeah. Um, that guy who killed his family. You're going to have to be more specific. Oh Chris Benoit um, is who one. you're thinking yep. of. Hulk Hogan. Okay. Andre the Giant. Okay. Um, uh, Dusty Rhodes. The American <laughs> Dream. Uh-huh. This is a uh, crazy list. Um, hold on. Mm-hmm. The Undertaker. Okay. Mad Money Morris. No, what's his name? <laughs> um, make that up? No, he's Scottish. I, I don't know. You might be going Roddy. Out. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh, okay. Um, not Mad Money Morris. <laughs> I like that. That could, might um, as well be a wrestler. Um, who? Who? Ric Flair. Oh. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm doing great, right? Yeah, your this your is, mind is this blown. Is amazing. Did I already say Hulk Hogan? You did. That okay, was your, um, uh, one of your openers. Ooh, professional wish granter John Cena. Uh-huh. Oh, what are you doing? That's what John Cena does. Oh, okay. That's nice. You can't see me. All right, go I on. I can see you. <laughs> How about the I Am Santa Claus documentary? Oh, uh, Sock Man. Mick Foley, yep. otherwise known as Mankind. Yep. With his puppet, Mr. Socko. Yep. Hold on. George the Animal Steel. I'm impressed, Kate. Um, Most of these are people that my dad and uncle talked yes, about. Yes, based on some of those yeah. names from the 80s and earlier, yeah. Kate, WWF No Mercy was a video game released for the Nintendo 64 on November 14, 2000. Okay. It was developed by Asmic Ace Entertainment and the Aki Corporation. It was directed by Hideyuki Iwashita. I- I- Iwashita. I can take that. Hideyuki Iwashita. And the uh, lead designer was Kenji Kimura. You'll notice those are Japanese names. That's going to be relevant in a minute. I did notice that. Here I am observant. Is um, we can't do the whole history. It's too much of the WWF, and we're going to definitely do a real episode about the WWF in the future. It's been brewing for years. We're probably going to have to get our brother-in-law, also named Tyler, involved. You got me listening um, to a six-part podcast we, about it. We have been listening to Behind the Bastards, uh, Vince McMahon. Can we say bastards on this podcast? Yeah, you can say it's It's a technical term. Okay. Really good series. By the way, if anyone out there is like me and like liked wrestling when they were in second grade in 1999 and 2000, but totally fell off the bandwagon, but know about Vince McMahon and want to know how evil he is, Behind the Bastards, really good. Really recommend it. It's like six hours long, but it's great. Okay. I have been learning a lot. Here's that's how I know so many wrestlers. <laughs> that's too. true. A lot of those were mentioned. Yeah. Here, you left out Vince McMahon, a wrestler in his own right. I don't like him. I don't want him on my list. I'm taking him off my list, and we're going to fight me and Vince. Here's the short version. Is he still alive? We'll, yeah. We'll do... He's like back in the company. They kicked him out for a while for being evil, but now he's it's not good. Short version is the WWF stands for World Wrestling Federation. Of course, they're now known as WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, because uh, the Panda WWF sued them and won, and they're like, you can't use this. Uh, It dates back to 1953, when it was known as Capital Wrestling Corporation. It's a long story. And Capital Wrestling Corporation was founded by the Vince McMahon we know, his father, Vincent McMahon, and his father, Jess McMahon. They co-founded it in 1953. A lot of stuff happened, but what we need to know is that in 1963... A group called the World Wide Wrestling Federation was founded by Vince McMahon Sr. Uh, in 1979, they shortened it to WWF. And then in 1982, Vince McMahon bought the whole thing from his dad, Vincent McMahon Sr. So starting in 1982, when Vince McMahon's at the helm of the WWF, he really does, under his stewardship, like turn it into a huge cultural phenomenon. Pro wrestling on TV. The two big things he really does to do that is he establishes a yearly pay-per-view event. Do you know about pay-per-view? I know the term. Do you know anything about it? You pay to watch it. So, you know, it was a pay-per-view event called WrestleMania. It started in 1985. They've done one every year since, and he really hyped it up. And, I mean, it's like 
like a boxing match, people would have to pay individually mm -hmm. to get this thing uh, to watch it. So he made a lot of money on that and made it into a phenomenon. Also in 1985, he launched uh, a two-hour weekly wrestling like TV show where they showed matches called uh, WWF Primetime Wrestling on the USA Network. That was replaced in 1993 with what they called WWF Monday Night Raw. They later added a second weekly show when it was getting really popular in 1999 called WWF Friday Night Smackdown. So you'd watch Monday Night Raw for two hours, Friday Night Smackdown for two hours. That's a lot of wrestling. If you were really into it. You know what he really did to take his company big? He exploited his workers. That's what he did. Oh, he sure did. Um, Let's not forget. He's he bad. He did work. You, you got to finish listening to the series. It gets worse. It gets worse? The labor stuff How was bad. How much worse could it get? It, it gets a lot worse. He, he really liked making things less safe. Him and Linda. The first WWF wife. video game... We're also in a fight. Me and Linda. ...came out in 1987. It was called Micro League Wrestling. It was a computer game, uh, you know, 2D, old school graphics, not that exciting looking from a modern lens. But throughout the late 80s and into the 90s, there were tons of WWF games for arcades and home video game systems. Now, Ted Turner, Kate. Oh, God, Ted Turner. Ted Turner saw the popularity of WWF in the late 80s, and he decided to launch his own competing wrestling promotion in 1988 called WCW, World Championship Wrestling. It really started in 1982, but it was local to Georgia. It was failing in the late 80s. Ted Turner bought it and said, I'm going to make this into a competitor to WWF. Question. Mm-hmm. It's a sidebar. Do you think that I would be a good amateur wrestler? I think you'd be amazing. We're going to make you in this game and have you play as you. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be silly. Uh, WCW's Monday Night Nitro competed directly with Monday Night Raw. Like, Why wouldn't you make it like Tuesday Night right? Turn Up? And everybody Wednesday can have night, wrestling? Wednesday Night Whackdown. They went head to head. Thursday Night. They had a Thursday Night Show too. Yeah, Thursday Night Throttle. Thunder, That's all the all choking. <laughs> The all, so, the from, from 1995 to 2001, WCW went head-to-head -head with WWF. It was called the Monday Night Wars. This was like a really... And, and it wasn't like a joke or a, a kayfabe, as we now know the term, from listening to uh, Behind the Bastards. Yeah, I know it what a kayfabe is. real. Ted Turner and Vince McMahon, two just rich businessmen, were really in a heated fight, fight against this. Why Although Vince McMahon, a real fight? Vince McMahon could destroy Ted Turner. He's huge. Vince McMahon is like built. Do you think I could fight Vince McMahon right now? Uh, Ram, I don't know. Like he's got, he's probably got old guy strength. How old? How old is he? Like ninety? In his seventies, maybe, oh. maybe eighty. Maybe in like ten years, I could probably fight anyone. <laughs> I love it. You're waiting. You're putting the date on the calendar. Vince McMahon, I'm calling you out. So it's me. Throughout this period, the podcaster. WWF uh, used Acclaim, a video game company, to make most of their games. This was a pretty top tier video game publisher. Like okay. they're the ones who took Mortal Kombat from arcades and ported it to the oh, home okay. systems. So this is a good company. They have like a, you know, triple-A, high-level company to make their games. WCW, because they're kind of the scrappier, newer guys, they started making games in 1989. They didn't make that many, though. WWF was pumping games mm -hmm. out pretty much every year. Uh, but in 1996, WCW partnered with this company called Aki Corporation, a Japanese game developer. Aki had put out a PlayStation game called Virtual Pro Wrestling in 1996, only in Japan. And it was all Japanese wrestlers. There was a big mm. pro wrestling scene there, too, right? Cool. So they put it out. Uh, it's very popular. And it's a fully 3D game. It's 1996. We're switching from, like, Super Nintendo to Nintendo 64, right? The Sega Genesis. And now we're on to, like, the PlayStation is out, you know? So games are switching. You've seen this many times on this podcast. That's those early 3D games. Sometimes they're yeah. not so good looking. Yeah. But WWF hadn't done a 3D game yet. So WCW and Ted Turner, they saw this opportunity. They partnered with Aki, who had a fully finished game. WCW didn't have to do anything. The game's done. What they do is say, hey, we're going to team with you. We're going to bring the game to America, uh -huh. but it's going to be a WCW game. So all you have to do, Aki, is make our guys, our roster of wrestlers, the WCW mm -hmm. wrestlers, put them in, okay, and we'll rename the game when it comes out in America, WCW versus the World. What's really weird came out in 1997 in America. They left all the Japanese wrestlers in there. They just made up new names for them <laughs> so they wouldn't have to pay the real guys, which okay, is kind of scummy. That's but, not good. But it's it's weird. I never played this game, but I was looking at the roster, making these notes. There's like maybe 15 WCW wrestlers, and then there's like 70 fake Japanese wrestlers. It's such a weird... I mean, the name WCW versus the world makes sense. It's like yeah. these guys are all challenging. But anyway, um, the game's pretty darn good, and it's interesting. WWF is like, hey, Acclaim, their video game company, make us a 3D game. They did. WWF, WWF Warzone in 1998 had that game. I did like it. But WCW keeps releasing these Aki games, and they generally are better. Like, gamers mm. can agree they are better games. Whether you like WWF more doesn't matter, because the games have better gameplay. Like, they're better crafted. 
So they put out WCW versus NWO World Tour for the N64 in 1997. WCW slash NWO Revenge on N64 in 1998. But then WWF poaches Aki, that company. Ooh. Probably, I don't know if there's a story to this, but probably using Vince McMahon unethical business practices. Probably. Aki stops making WCW games. Okay. And they start making WWF games. Interesting. So they finish the 90s and the early 2000s by making two more of these games. And they're all like kind of the same game, just with different wrestlers and a few different gimmicks and improvements. Uh, And these final ones, the WWF Aki games, are WWF WrestleMania 2000 in 1999. And then this game, WWF No Mercy in 2000. Video game fans and wrestling fans generally regard this whole run of Aki wrestling games for the PlayStation and Nintendo 64 as like very good, like high quality the games. Best ones. Both of them, the WCW and WWF games, are all considered very high quality, good, fun games. And No Mercy, the one we're going to play, is mm-hmm. kind of considered the pinnacle of this whole era of Aki localized wrestling games. Hmm. Really weirdly, though, Aki never made a pro wrestling game again. These were all huge selling games. Interesting. The only thing they did with this engine later in the mid 2000s is they uh, made these weird games called Def Jam. There's a series of games Def called Def Jam. Def D, yeah. Jam. Oh, not like D, not like D. No, 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 no. Okay. Not like they can't hear Def Jam, where they take the wrestling mechanics, but they have real rappers fighting, and it's like violent, and you know, it's, it's interesting. Like you can play as DMX, like it's really weird. Um, but that's that's kind of the only other thing they did with this engine. And little side note, postscript in 2023. AEW, do you know about AEW? American Enterprise Wrestlers. All Elite Wrestling, they're like the newer, more upstart competitor. Mm-hmm. WCW is gone. It mer- okay. WWF bought them out. They merged, okay. or WCW bought them. I don't know what happened, but they're they're long gone. But AEW is like the new competitor. They sought out the guy who directed this game you're going to play, No Mercy, right? Uh-huh. Back you know 20 years ago to make the first ever AEW game. He just yeah. made it, so it has the same director. Uh, Hideyuki uh, Iwash, Iwashita. Go so it's kind of interesting, right? I haven't played it yet. Presumably it's it's like the heir apparent to this thing that people still kind of hold in their hearts as a high quality wrestling game, nostalgically. Anyway, Kate, personally for me, I loved this game. This was my peak era of being into wrestling for like a year and a half from, yeah. you know, second and third grade. I didn't watch it religiously, but my brother and I were into it. He was more into it than I was because he was four years older. But I was so into these. I love these games. I had all the WWF games. Weirdly, we never had the WCW ones. Like, we just weren't into WCW uh, for whatever reason. My favorite thing about this game as a kid was the Create a Wrestler feature we're going to play with today. I used to have a copy of this game, my, my childhood copy that I got in the year 2000 when I was in second grade, that I would bring to sleepovers. This thing traveled with me to sleepovers basically from second grade till 12th grade. Like, I never gave it up. I think... People were probably getting annoyed with me. I'd bring my N64 long after it was uh, outdated. And we would have, we found out, not only could you make like nine wrestlers, right? There's like nine blank slots. Mm -hmm. For some reason, you could edit the real wrestlers. Like you could go in and like change the Rock's costume, right? Uh. And you could even, they just give you total free. Like you could change who the Rock is. You could change his face, his height. So we like overwrote my friends and I in uh, you know in uh, elementary and middle and even high school. We had a copy of this game that had like all of us as characters so we could beat each other up as us. We'd make like our teachers. It's weird <laughs> thinking back, but um, it is kind of weird, but it's kind of funny. And my brother and I really started this when we were really little because we would make like our uncle, uh, our aunts, like we'd make people, our grandparents, to, like make them, make them fight. Wrestle. And it was so funny. Like I have this oh, really man. strong memory of like we made my grandfather, and he's like bald, you know, balding, and they let you make the hair like that. And he like we programmed him to because you could pick his moves and his style of movement uh-huh. to like flip into the ring over the turnbuckle. So I have just did really... you ever show it? Oh, I think so. I That's remember showing. I feel like he would have been like tickled. About yeah, it, we know? showed my dad, and he. Was, I remember him being hysterical. I don't know if we ever had the opportunity to show him because we didn't. Yeah, we weren't in the, yeah. You know, didn't have it with sure. us. But um, so I have fond memories of that aspect of this game and all of wrestling games do. from this era. But the wrestling mechanics are really good too. So we're gonna try it. Here's why I think it's good. The wrestling feels good. Me and my friend Dustin to this day could play this game for like an hour long match because <laughs> we're both like pretty good at it because uh, we played so much of it. Uh, the creative character is hilarious. The story mode in this game is kind of good. It was at the time. Like, there's kind of a narrative you can mm-hmm. follow, and, like, okay. it branches if you win or lose and all this stuff. There's lots of stuff to unlock. The name, by the way, if you're curious, No Mercy, comes from a pay-per-view event the WWF launched in 1999 called WWF No Mercy. So it's kind of an ad for that. Cool. All right, Kate. So this is a precious cargo alert. Uh, this is one of my, like, games that I really care a lot about. I've been saving it up. I'll be sure to tear it up. I'm a little concerned, yeah, that you're going to really... 
tear it a new one. You know so. I will. You know I will. <laughs> Get your headphones, because you got to hear the Dig Diggity Dog song. The what? Dig Dig Diggity. Dig Diggity Dog. What is a rumble pack? I don't you, want that. You don't have a rumble pack. Okay, I don't want it. Makes your controller vibrate. All right, this music, legendary. What do I do now? Why don't we first get you acquainted with the game a little bit? Let's get you to do a quick exhibition. Okay. We're going to play for a little bit. What's here. this? One versus CPU. I don't want to fight you. Me. I want you to play a computer. Good. Okay. You're going to pick your ring, your arena. None of these matter to me. No, these are just all real. A lot of them are the pay-per-view rings, the TV rings. I'm going to go Raw is War. Raw is War. We're not going to play for a belt. What? Don't worry about it. European. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Here are all the, re every wrestler in this That's game. That's me, The Rock. You're playing a copy that has all the unlocked secret wrestlers too, okay. just so you know. That's Triple H. <laughs> oh, if you want some more depth, see these little yellow buttons? Uh -huh. You can change their outfits. They oh, each wow. have four outfits. That's beautiful. So. <laughs> That's cute little outfits. Yeah, and you can dress them um, up however you want. Oh no, what did I do? Uh, you hit L or R, I think, because okay. you're I moving from, like, stable to stable. Look, that's Mankind. Yep, you change you know. his outfits. Take a look. Because he's wrestled under a lot of different personas over the years, and he has a few more characters. He just has different pants. You'll see. He has other, other okay, personas well, in the game. That's Kane. He's big. I like him. So, Kane and The Undertaker were kind of, like, zombie, evil characters. Like they were dead, and they came back from the dead? Yes. Okay. But then The Undertaker was also going through an era at this time where he was wearing like a Kid Rock-esque bandana. So okay. they gave you both we versions. Chris Jericho. He could have been the one. Oh, is he? No, that's Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit is in this game. He's on oh, this no. page. Kurt Angle. We got Kurt Angle. Same dimensions uh, as Donald Trump's self-reported physique. <laughs> I was waiting to find one. Should I be him? Uh, he's technically he's 220. Uh, but close. Oh, that, that's Chris Benoit, right, Family he... Annihilator. Uh, that's really not good. No. And I think it might have been Vince McMahon's fault. What I haven't gotten to that part of the podcast yet. Uh, just a man named Christian. Christian? Yeah, Jeff uh, Hardy. It's so funny because, like, Ray Dudley. when this game came out, I could have told shocked. you. Is he, he looks nice? I don't know. Is there a nice one? I could have told Grandmaster you. Grandmaster Sex A. I don't want to be. What? <laughs> I could have told you all the alliances and the names of the teams oh they were on. Scotty Too Hotty. I love Scotty Too Hotty. Look at his hair <laughs> sticking out of his hat. Devon Dudley. All right, hold on. So you got the Dudley brothers, Super the Hardy Stars boys. Three. We got Taz. Taz. A lot China. of these people are dead. China's dead. Eddie Guerrero's dead. R.I.P. Farouk. X Pac. X Pac. I think he's still around. Road Dog. Oh, uh, so X Pac and China and Road Dog, I think, were part of Degeneration X. How do you feel if you're on uh, Test? <laughs> I don't remember that guy at all. Maybe he's just like a placeholder. <laughs> no, his name is Test. If you're on like Superstars Five. <laughs> well, you're not the Rock. I think they know they're not. Oh no, Viscera is not so good. No, what a name. Six six and five hundred fifty four pounds. Hey, Kate. Good for him. Hardcore Holly, ladies. Okay, so here are the women. There's Great. Vince McMahon's daughter. Stephanie, Stephanie. McMahon. We got Tori, <laughs> Trish Stratus. We got, these people are. Okay, I'm just going to let you know, when I was a little boy, Trish Stratus, I definitely uh, had a big crush on. Let's see. Let's see what Trish Stratus be looking like. <laughs> we don't even look like you. You doesn't even look like me. <laughs> Here's Hidden. Linda McMahon. Oh, God. So these are the wrestlers oh, you had God. to unlock. Future Trump administration Linda McMahon. staffer, Linda McMahon, who made wrestling a lot less safe. There's Vince McMahon's son, Ew, Shane McMahon. McMahon. There's Vince McMahon himself. I'm not wrestling as Vince McMahon. I'm not doing it. Who... Hidden too. Well, Andre the so Giant. Could, I could be Andre him. the Giant was the ultimate unlockable character. Okay, in this should game. I be him? Uh, you can be if you want. You want to just be huge. Look at McFoley though. I like. So him. there's standard McFoley. There's also Cactus Jack, one of McFoley's other personas. <laughs> I don't know if Dude Love is in this game. I think I'm I just say. gonna be Andre the Giant. Look how cute he is. Go for it. What? Oh, that's Aki Man. Don't worry about Aki Man. Okay, He's just like I a just little mascot for Aki. Now you can pick your opponent. Well, I don't want to wrestle myself. No, I wouldn't. A mirror match. Who do you want to fight? I want to fight The Rock. All right. Even though these two guys wouldn't fight, they would just hug and raise money for something, I think. I do want to point out, there was a time where I thought these graphics were... Photorealistic. Pretty amazing. I really think these boys wouldn't fight in real life. I think you're right. I think they would sit down to a large meal together, and then I think they would hug at the end. I think you're right. Oh, they would really bond over eating a lot of food. All right, so here's your entrance. When you make your own person, you can customize the whole thing. The song, <laughs> the move they do... Andre the Giant really wasn't from the era where you no. had an entrance, so he's kind of just thrown in. But this was The Rock's real entrance. He was not treated well by Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking, Kate? Uh, lots of cod, I think, because <laughs> I read his uh, his diet plan, meal, meal plan. plan. Also, he, he eats like ten pounds of cod a day. Yeah. That's okay. Silly. 
What? You're on. Oh, no. Um, B is punch. A is grapple. I'm grappling. Yeah. Oh, the rock reversed you, though. Oh, no, don't. Oh, my God, he flipped me over. Why? Okay, so you just want to... If you tap... Oh, look, I kicked him. If you tap A or B, it's just a quick attack, but if you hold oh, it look, down... Oh, look, I squashed him. Yep, if you hold that button down, you'll get a little oh, more... Uh, you'll get a stronger attack, but... Oh, I hit him with my head. Good work. It gives him time to react, though, you know? So when you're yeah. doing your strong attack, you got to be careful. Look, I'm really hitting a lot. Block is R. You think I'd have a block? You can also, if you're getting grappled oh, really bad, you can reverse oh, no, it if me. you tap R at the right time. Like, if you tapped R right around when he was throwing look, you... I got him. Oh, no. You might have a chance of reversing him. I'm There's just going to hit him until it's over. <laughs> so you're going to eventually have to look, pin him? I got him. I got him. I got punch him. him hard. I got him on the ropes. Do a hard punch. Nope. There you go. The hard punch when he's on the ropes would knock him onto the ground. This is great. I really feel nice. like uh, I'm your coach. Ew. This is an inappropriate coach relationship. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, wow, I really got him good. You just keep beating him. So basically you need to wear him down until you can pin him for three seconds and he can't get out of it. How am I wearing him down? By just beating him. See his little meter at the bottom? You both have colorful I like, meters. I like Andre the Giant's little butt. I don't know that I'd use the word little to describe that. It's not his fault. I wonder how. I guess they got permission Look, really from his estate, right? Yeah, I squashed him. Hey, hey, don't squash me. Do you think the dead Andre the Giant would have been okay with being in this game? Um, I don't know. I think maybe he just wanted to live his life and drink like 900 bottles of wine yeah. a week. He was in a lot of pain. I mean, it brought joy to, to children all over the world. Do you I think, think he... that Andre wanted that? Yeah. Look, I really squashed him. That was nice. Just keep it up. Yeah, oh, I'm squishing you him. You might be able to do your special move soon. How's my special? I'll teach you how when the time comes. Uh, when your bar, if your bar starts flashing red, the redder it gets, the better. It's very red. It has to, it'll literally be flashing, and then we're going to activate your special. Yeah, it seems like it might be flashing. Not yet. Trust me, you'll know. Okay, tap your joystick. Tap Joystick? It. The joystick. Tap the joystick. Okay, if you can get him in a grapple, well, you know what? I won. Not yet. It has to get to 10 if he's out what? of the ring. How do I get out a of the ring? ring out. I wouldn't because if you're out when he Okay, hold down your grapple. Ah, oh, shucks. I shouldn't have had you do it so quick. I'm confused. So you need to get him into a hard grapple. Nah, you missed it. And then right. um, tap the joystick when your special right. is flashing. It's too late now. Don't worry about it. I'm you giving you me. not enough advice and too much you advice. You really are not giving me enough advice. But that's good. You want to try to pin him? Hold L. Hold down L. L? L. Just hold, I'm when doing you, it. Okay. Wait till he's on the ground again. Like try to knock him over again. When he's flat out, just hold L while you're right next to him, and you'll pin him. Okay, you're about to get him down. Hold L. Just hold L. There you go. Hold it. Don't let go. Let's see. I'm really holding him nope. gently. Only got a one count. What? That's the thing. You got to wear him down more. How long do I have to wear him down for? Just be over. Absolutely hey. destroy him. I'm coming to grab you. Or get him out of the ring for ten seconds. Or get him in a submission I hold. flipped him over. Uh, he was able to, when you're pinning someone, you don't want them able to touch the rope. If they can touch the rope, right. they get out of the pin. It's just a rule in wrestling. That's dumb. Oh, yeah, I'm really kicking. Yep. You're doing good, Kate. I don't think Andre would like the level of violence here. Uh, no, but, I mean, he was a wrestler. He was doing this in the ring. Yeah. Like, I'm going to rest on him. Nice. <laughs> What's now? Do you want to run into him? Hit the down C button, and then... What? That makes you run, and then you can punch while you're running, you know? Like, if you want to get a real strong attack on. I'm trying to slowly introduce some of the buttons, because there's a lot to learn here. So I'm going to grapple him. I cannot wait to absolutely destroy you in this game. Oh, wow. What a mean thing to say to your wife. After you keep beating me in Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat... I'm not good at those games. I'm good at this game, Kate. It's a skill that has not helped me at all in life. Hey, no. Whoa. Get out of here. What if hey, he pinned hey. you successfully, like, right away? Hey, don't punch me. How I get up? You just gotta keep pushing your buttons. Hey, guy. No. Ooh. No. This is yeah. not Yay! Look, you, you reversed it. You hit R. Boom! Yeah, I punched him. It seems like... I, I want more choreography. I don't know how to do it, you know? Yeah. There... Because I feel like a wrestling match, there's a certain... What's DX? Oh, no, that was just a sign. Hold A. Hold A. Get him in a grapple while he's on the ground. Hold it. Oh, no. See, he's up. Try, once he gets up, hold A. Try to get him in a grapple, and then press B. Or anything. 
Nice. I got a replay. Try and pin him. I'm, I have him holding L. You got to be next to him before you hit it. Otherwise, it makes you back up. It's kind of sensitive to where you are when you tap it because it does a few different things. All right, this would be a good time to hold L. I'm holding it. Good, and you are really strong. He's fairly weak. Yeah, you did it. You won your first yeah, match, it. Kate. All right, let's go make a wrestler. This is the real meat of this game. I, That's me. I've spent more time making wrestlers probably than actually playing. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see the replay? No. We're going to get you into the SmackDown Mall. What? I don't want to go to the mall. I don't like malls boom, or smacking. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to create a superstar. I have horror violence. Okay, why don't we go to appearance first? Tap R. Like you, look at your two buttons on top. Uh, let's let's uh, make somebody here. You want to make yourself? You want to yeah, make, make me? Who are you making? Okay. Making Good. Press A. Here I am. Don't overthink it, Kate. You're still going to look like a Lego when it's done. <laughs> All right, so there are three head shapes. Wow. It's not face, it's head shape. I, this is weird. pretty, it's deeper than you think, but really still not is. great. Face. Okay. Oh my. Oh no, those are the male faces. Why don't we hit over to get out of the male faces? Oh, okay. These are the women. It's just so weird. That looks like me when I'm confused. Yeah, kind of. These are real women that have been digitized. <laughs> That's me when uh, I'm in line and someone cuts in front of me. <laughs> Oh, no, maybe this one. Uh -huh. Actually, I kind of like that one. That looks like disgust. It's not bad. So just like when I do this with my friends at a sleepover, you'd be like, okay, remember that one, female 12. That was a good one. And then we'd keep scrolling because, I mean, there's way too many. There's so many. Why would they make so And there's many a lot more, more male faces, too. So it goes into the hundreds, I think. Hair? Okay, so pick your hair first. Then you can do front hair. Obviously, men created this game. They wouldn't call it bangs. They called it front hair. I think it's more of a translation issue. That actually looks like your new haircut, yeah. But you're going to get a chance to do the front hair. I like hair. Kate Gosselin. Go ahead and change the front hair, too, you know? And the color, of course. Front hair, 60. You just kind of have it swept to one side. Where is that? The face does not look like you, but... The face the looks like the disgust, I feel. The hair's pretty good. I would just leave it all on default. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. See how deep you can go, though? Any of yeah. these mean anything to you? No. Ring entry, leapfrog, flip over. You have 10 points to spend. Okay, now hit R twice. Now we'll name you. This is just, like, too many choices. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then it's like you pick the thing you want on screen when you come out. That's too much. It is a lot, isn't it? Here we go. You ready? You're going to be you. Here this we go. This seems ill-advised. This is us. Ready to battle. <laughs> Why do I look so disgusted? I kind of look like Olivia Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I can see it. Press A. Here we go. Don't skip the intros. This is going to be the best part, I hope. Here I am, limping out with my bat. <laughs> we didn't sit and customize how you actually, what you move you do when you're doing that and stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> Why do you have pyrotechnics? I don't know, though? I didn't set that. Maybe it's just the song. See, we both have the same default uh, little bow when we walk out. All right. I'm not letting you win. You're not? If you beat me, it's going to be fair and square. I'm, first, I'm going to taunt you. What am you. I doing? What am I We're doing? We're taunting each other. Why? Because you're supposed to move with the D-pad, not the what? stick. What's you the forgot. What's the D-pad? The thing you moved with for your whole match is Andre the Giant. Hey, don't kick me. <laughs> I'm your wife. <laughs> hey, how do you do that cool So, punch? when you're on the ground... If I knock you over, hold R while you're getting up, and you'll do this recovery thing where you squat for a second. And then, hey. so like right now, hold R. Hold R, hold R. Nope. You didn't do it. You got to do it while you're like getting up from the ground. Oh, look, I ripped your ears. Sure did. Ooh. Oh, look, I'm going to hit you. Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? You just like broke my leg. I think it's a submission. I'll see, I'm doing that thing where I, oh. Huh. Whoa, all right. You're getting aggressive. I like it. Yeah, I cracked your leg. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. What was that? Oh, my back. Oh, no, I'm over 30, and I slept <laughs> weird. Hey, 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 get down from there, guy. Ooh. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I love this oh game God, so much. Oh, my God, why are you much? slamming your wife? I love it. Ah, see, we hey, have the same hey. boring moves because we didn't uh, customize them. Why are you slamming enough. me? I am your wife. Ooh. Hey, what, what hey, is that? Hey. 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 Hey, quit running away. Why are you running out of the ring? Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> nah. hey get, off, get off me, guy. I'm going to taunt you a little bit. Do some of my moves. Yeah, my yeah. dance moves. Ooh. Hey, hey, quit. 
Quick kicking me. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to give you the old special move if you accidentally let me. No. Ooh, I ran out of special. Yeah, that's right, because I ran out of away special from juice. Ooh, -wee. Ooh. Remember, R is block and reverse. I don't know. So, like, if I'm getting you real good, you can use R to I'm, help. What am I doing here? What is this? <laughs> I'm hitting R, and yet it is not doing anything. Hey, hey, get up, girl. Respect yourself. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. I'm getting a weapon. I got 10 seconds. I'm going to hit you with this. Is it a chair? What do I got? Are you going to hit me with oh, this Oh, it's a chair? bell. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. All right, pick up it. weapon is your left C button. What? What the hell does that mean? The yellow buttons. No, I nope. want it. Ah! Oh. Hey. I got to get you. I got to beat you with this bell. No. And that's kind of the fun. It's like hard to get the weapon and keep it, you know? Yeah, I hit you. Left C if you want it. See? I'm going to hit you with but it. As soon as I hit you, it's hey. gone. That's the trick to it. It's tough. Hey! How would you do this I reversed to your wife? It. No, don't flip me over like that. Ugh, I want to hit you with this bell so bad. Nope. Nope, reversed with R. Oh no. Just let me rest. I did not grow up doing this, I would like you to know. <laughs> Look, I crushed you a little. You did. Ooh. Ooh yeah. Ooh. Hey, do not hit me. Let me hit you once. Nope, no. you threw it. You were just supposed to hit attack. You hit grapple instead. You can't grapple with the weapon. Well, you, drop you are it. not giving me the whole story here. I'm... You know what? I'm just going to throw it at you. Hey. Oh, it rang. <laughs> Try it up, girl. I'm gonna get my special. I gotta see what my special move is on you. Ooh. Hey, no. Ah, oh, here we go. Do not hit your wife. Oh no, this is like really violent. Here we go, special move. What I is it? I have a trigger Ooh. warning for spousal Ooh. abuse. Ooh, it's a pin? Can you get out of it? I don't Boom. know. Boom. I would like to note, Tyler played this game for 29 years, and I played this game for approximately 13 minutes. <laughs> I'm showboating around the room. No one can see. Uh -huh. Oh, here's a replay. Look at my special move pin. Hell yeah. Enjoy making yourself dinner tonight. <laughs> can we cook together like we always do? Nope. Shouldn't have showboated around the room. So, for some reason, this game felt a lot more violent than the other ones. I don't know. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's like the visceral punching. I mean, yeah, it is like five minutes straight of hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, twisting people's arms. More yeah. than Grand Theft Auto, where you were driving over people? Yeah, but I was driving them, them down. I was driving them down. Huh. You know? Yeah, there was a... I didn't like yeah. this one. No? Not a fan? Because it was violent or just in general? No. I don't know. I just... I felt like I was not very interested in it the whole time. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh, you did see you seemed more interested even in Mortal Kombat. Not by much, I guess. No. Street Fighter Two? Yeah. Interesting. Street Fighters ninety seven. Um Hell yeah. see it's funny because, you know, I don't know if I ever would have liked this game if I wasn't into wrestling the minute mm, it came out. True. I got it because it was wrestling, you know? Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe that has something to do with it. Alright Kate, not your favorite thing in the world, huh? You're not gonna revisit this one? Probably not. No. Yeah, that's fair. All right, Kate. Well, uh, thank you for playing No Mercy. A lot of uh, ultra-violent fall games we've covered. I think that's it. I think we've done it. Uh, so there's WWF No Mercy. For me, for anyone out there who hasn't played it in a while, ooh, baby, baby, you're going to like this. This oh, is yeah. a lot of fun to revisit. Ooh, you get, liked it? Get back on the that's Aki nice wrestling it. games. It's, this makes me want to check out the other Aki games, the WCW mm -hmm. ones, which I think I'll be doing later without you. Uh, it won't be a podcast. All right. Thanks, Kate. Sorry I beat you, but I'm not sorry because... I told you I wasn't going to let you win. All right, tune in next week. Uh, who knows what we're covering. Probably something good. You'll like it, I swear. WWF No Mercy. Perform vicious double-team moves and show No Mercy in a high-flying ladder match. WWF No Mercy for Nintendo 64. It doesn't get any better than this.